name is Amy Franklin. I'm the most recent owner of the Hackberry General Store, lucky me. John and Carrie Pritchard were the previous owners. They brought their entire collection here, and my job is to preserve it for the next however many years I own it, hopefully 10 or 20. The Hackberry store itself was built in 1934. It's had a couple of additions. Uh, used to have a diner in the area behind me. You know, served hot dogs, hamburgers, nothing really out of the ordinary. General store for local people, uh, guest stop for travelers along Route 66 up until about 1980 when the interstate was completed. At that time, travel stopped on Route 66, except for mostly locals. Then uh, Angel Delgadillo was um, instrumental in bringing back the historical value of Route 66. Motorcycle groups are uh, really fans of Route 66. We love them. They come in groups between two to three to four to 15 to 20. All the other visitors are usually going between the national parks. The existing collection excludes the beautiful patches that policemen, firemen, service people have brought and donated and just asked to put up on the wall. That started about six years ago. And of course we say, yes, please put your patches there. Um, that commemorates their visit. Some people have written on the wall. Uh, license plates that are on the ceiling, most have been donated from all over the world as well. And look at this beautiful rim around South America. They're starting to come from all over South America, so that's really, really awesome. We appreciate all that business, and um, we hope that people keep coming back and have a new experience every time they come here. And we've got a couple of uh, mannequins that we've dressed as some vintage 50s young ladies. The, our music is piped in with the old uh, Wurlitzer stereo speakers, which are in use. Since I bought it, I've done a little bit of painting, and I took down most of the girls in the restroom, and people are upset. They're like, why did you take the girls down? And I say, don't worry, don't worry, I'm gonna put them back up. So we are very fortunate to be here. We hope you all keep coming. Stop by, say hi, have a root beer, and get your picture taken in front of the new car out in front. It's not a 57 Corvette anymore, I'm sorry. I didn't get that with the store. I have a 1990 Corvette convertible out front. I also have um, a new, new to me, um, 1928 Studebaker, it's a, a pickup. Uh, it has no window, so that kind of makes it convertible. My plan is to continue uh, the preservation of what's already here and try to add to, co add to the collection as we go along. And um, that's about all. Hackberry currently is a town of about 80 residents. Uh, back in the 30s and 40s, there were up to three to 400 residents in Hackberry. There was a railroad station where cattle would be driven by local cattlemen to be taken to the meatpacking houses in Chicago and Los Angeles. It also had a Amtrak stop for passengers. Um, Hackberry also had, at the general store here, um, the Greyhound bus stop. Uh, that's no longer in service here, um, so that's a little bit about the Hackberry town. Uh, there's an old remaining small post office which uh, stopped serving the community in 1995. This year is the 90th anniversary of Route 66. We're all very happy for the travelers that come through. About 90% of our visitors are foreigners. We love you all. Uh, people come from all over the world, France, Germany, Holland, Netherlands. Um, Japan, China, Kazakhstan, um, Uzbekistan, if I pronounce that right, Brazil, Argentina, uh, Australia, New Zealand, um, Dubai, um, all over the world.